Hey guitar enthusiasts, Lauren Bateman here. Welcome back to my series on picking and finger dexterity. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to do an exercise where we're going to use all four of our fingers and we're also going to um, establish what alternate picking is. So in the last video, we just did all down picks with our picking hand. In this video, what we're going to do is called alternate picking. Alternate picking is where we alternate between doing a down pick and an up pick on a single string. So for example, if I am just playing this top string, I would go down, up, down, up. And that's where we're gonna start with this exercise. So you see here, I'm zoomed in on my picking hand here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the strings. We're not gonna worry about our fretting hand. We're just gonna focus on the picking hand here. And we're gonna go down, up, down, up on the top string. Then we're gonna go to the fifth string, same thing. Down, up, down, up. Then the fourth string, down, up, down, up. Third string, down, up, down, up. Next string, down, up, down, up. Bottom string, down, up, down, up. And then we're just gonna come backwards to the second string. Down, up, down, up. 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 So that's it, that's all our picking hand is doing. It's just doing down, up, down, up down the strings and up the strings. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna focus in, I'm gonna zoom in on the fretting hand so that you can see what we're doing on the fretting side of the guitar. So the same thing as the last video in our series is each finger is gonna own its own fret. So again, we're gonna start on the fifth, sixth, seventh, and this time we're adding in the pinky on the eighth fret. And each finger is gonna own its own fret. The fifth finger, or the first finger owns the fifth fret, second finger owns the sixth fret, third finger owns the seventh fret, pinky owns the eighth fret. And we're gonna do that down, up, down, up picking with our picking hand. Now, let's go through the fretting hand. We're gonna start on the top string. So it's gonna be five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. When you get to the bottom, you're just gonna come straight back up. Five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, it'll sound like this. Now you probably saw in the close-up that I'm leaving my fingers down on each fret, which can help with stretching out your hand. If for some reason that's too difficult for you just because you don't have quite the flexibility and dexterity in your hands, it's okay to lift your fingers with each fret. It's okay to lift as you go. But eventually you're gonna wanna work towards keeping your fingers down so that you can stretch out your hand more. Again, just like in the last exercise, don't focus on speed. We're working on dexterity here and building up movement in your fretting hand as well as your picking hand. We're trying to get these two coordinated. So go slow, take your time, and a good trick to do is to focus on first just focus on your fretting hand, and then separately, just focus on your picking hand. So you can focus on these things separately and then try and put them together. That usually helps. So while these spider exercises are great ways to develop finger dexterity, and I hope you keep them as part of your guitar practice, what I love to do with students is get them into learning actual songs that apply some of the things we're learning in the exercises. So let's jump into the next video where we're gonna learn our first guitar lick um, using this finger dexterity stuff.